So, today is a day in which we are going to be creating for ourselves a Gamer Sups tier list. A Gamer Sups tier list. Now, allow me to go ahead and grab this monitor capture real quick. A couple things need to be said before I can ah! Before I continue, however. First things first. I, me, Bricky, am in fact sponsored by Gamer Sups. I absolutely do have a sponsorship. I, if you use code Bricky, you get 10% off your purchase. All right, you get 10% off. I will, I, if you're watching this in video form, there will be a link in the description. That is the link to the stuff. Full disclosure. However, Gamer Subs, the reason I enjoy them so much is because they let me do shit like this. Where if I want to say, hey, guess what? This flavor sucks ass. They are okay with that. That freedom in advertising is something that is very rare and it's something that I really appreciate when it comes to actually being a, like working with this company. So, make that clear. I like that ability. So, I was presenting to you a gamer subs tier list. I found one that was created on oh god, Europe on November 14th, 2022. I believe it is the most recent as I do see Jay Schlatt's flavor over here on the right. So I believe it is the most recent and I have indeed tried every single flavor that is present. Every single one. Uh, because they sent them all to me. So I would like to get started and we can go ahead and begin chatting about this. Uh, just so you know, GamerSubs didn't tell me to make this video. I'm doing this on my own accord. Um, just because it's fun. And yeah. So, let's start off with what I do believe to be... I might need to zoom this up a little bit. Okay, that's a little too much. That's better. Let's start off with Acai Blueberry. Alright. Actually, I'm going to add a, uh, a lower one. Um, holding. Pink. Let's see. All right. So this is acai blueberry. Acai blueberry is a very, very good flavor. It is one of the more uh, relaxed flavors. I say that it is definitely a little bit more on the uh, lesser kind of like strong tartness of that flavor. It goes down really smooth, but it's not too sharp. Uh, I think this uh, acai blueberry is a solid A. It's generally my, it's actually one of my go-to flavors when I want something that isn't too overpowering. It's very just, it's very smooth, you know? It just kind of, it just kind of goes down and you're like, nice, doesn't really leave an aftertaste. Doesn't really have this like really sharp sourness to it or tartness to it. It's just simple. I, I go with an A on a side of blueberry. Um, this, is this what I think it is? This is blue ras. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry about six months ago would have been an S tier flavor. Would have been S tier. Straight up, simply put. But I have to say, I think that in the last six months, their flavor creation has been getting better and better and better. And I don't think it actually belongs in top tier anymore. I think it's like top of A. I'd say like top of A, way in the front, but, but it's not quite S tier yet. It's literally blue raspberry. You, you know, the Jolly Ranchers and sh it tastes like a genuine blue raspberry. If you like that hard tartness, that you get in, in say a uh, Jolly Ranch line like that, it's really good, but it's, it's just, it's literally like the feeling where you don't have blue raspberry in S cause the competition is so good from here on out. Next up is lemon, lemon, le lemonade? Hmm. 
Le lime, lime, lemon, lemon, lemon. What, what that? What is this one's name? Citrus lemonade. Citrus lemonade. I don't actually know the exact name for that one. Citrus lemonade is fine. It's not amazing. It tastes like a lemonade. Um, it's really just. It's like one of the most middle of the pack ones. It's not bad, but it, it tastes like citrus lemonade. It's lemonade. Like, like you, you have it and you're like, this is lemonade. Like, if you like lemonade, great. Snag it, but it, it's lemonade. Like, it's lemonade. I don't know what you want me to say about it. It's lemonade. Um, same, okay, so dragon fruit is this other one. Dragon fruit is pretty good, but I'd say this is also one of the more middle of the pack ones. Uh, this is like one of their first five flavors, maybe? Like five, like five to 10. It's one of their really early flavors. And I'd say if we were back in the foundation, the original days of gamer Sups, this and blue raspberry would be kind of uh, pretty close to the top level along with a side blueberry. But now I'd say blue uh, dragon fruit is just kind of a beef to your flavor. It's good. It's fine. You know, it's, I'd say it's pretty decent with the uh, caffeine free for a nice like dessert flavor thing, but it's not a, it's not like a top, top tier. <laughs> Steven, uh, how, how do you say his name? Is it Stefan, Stefan He, Stephen He, um, St St Stephen, uh, um, emotional damage, literally the emotional damage guy. The the emotional damage meme flavor. Um, I, I'm I'm shocked they actually made this the way they did and threw together a little comic art and everything. It's like here. It, it's it's just I can't believe, I can't believe they did it. it. It's such a meme. It's such a meme. Um, this is <laughs> this is an S tier flavor though. Um, it's strawberry and peach. And it goes down like, not like butter, because that's probably not the best, best way to say it. It goes down like silk. Imagine acai blueberry, the smoothness, the lack of bad aftertaste, all of just the nice lightness to it. But the flavor is just flat out better. It is strawberry and peach. And, and he's like, I don't, he put together one of the better flavors. Absolutely. Very good. The Russian Badger's Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. One, I, I think the first ever creator flavor, or at least the first three. Um, This was the best flavor in the entire store. It is strawberry kiwi. It also has one of the greatest covers of I of him with guacamole like like sobbing into into fucking avocados and a, a bright eyed T Rex, it is it is, it's something else, it is something else. It is strawberry kiwi. Um, this was the best flavor in the in the entire store for a while. I don't think it is anymore. I think it has been um out. I think it has been taken down. A little bit but at the time it was number one and it's still an s rank flavor i i go i go number one so far it is still an s ranked flavor it is very good it literally has only been beaten out by a couple competition but at the time of its release and for a good like six months after number one incredibly tasty nice cock. this i believe is the t one this one was, that one is a little bit different. Um, where, oh. Uh, let's see if I can find, here it is. Gil, yes, the, the Guilty, Cajos Guilty Pleasure. Guilty. Is this the, is this the, the person that, in collaboration with Kaho Shibuya, yes. Um, so this is a, a tea flavor. This one's a bit different. Um, it's hard, it's hard to describe, but it tastes, it, it tastes like sweet tea. It tastes like sweet tea. Um, 
not my favorite not bad but not quite for me i'm a little bit surprised that they were able to pull off tea so well with a powdered flavor um but it's not my number one uh granted there should be something said for the guy who who made it um i probably put it at top of b i think it's pretty smooth and nice but but not not up too high um chat stop it it's like you've never seen booze before uh it is impressive they're able to pull off a sweet tea flavor though this is mango something mango madness mango meta mango meta uh mango meta is a b-tier flavor uh th this is back in the in the old school days of the original uh gamer subs times um you know it's not that the old flavors are bad at all. They're they're all pretty go good. That's why they're in B, and B is like above average. But it's just they've gotten so good at developing their flavors that they, they've just, they've outpaced themselves, which is a good problem to have. All of their, yeah, mango is no longer a meta. This is pretty good. Uh, I put it middle of the pack of the old flavors, but it's, uh, it's, it's just they've, they've ran past themselves, which is a good thing, but you know. It's uh, is what it is. Is this is either sour apple or misfits uh or, or misfits melon? I am not sure which. I believe that is misfits melon. <sighs> I feel bad. I feel bad. I do not like misfits melon. It's not my favorite. I also think that honeydew and cantaloupe are. <clears throat> trash honeydew and cantaloupe are trash they get their shit flavor all over the rest of my good tasty berries they are trash all right so to me with my completely objective taste buds i'm not a big fan of this one i'm sorry um obviously food is very subjective flavors are very subjective but i do not like do not like the misfit smell i do not think it tastes very good pina colada this is a combination of two flavors we'll do them at the same time with cold ones i believe it is cold ones yep here they are by cold ones pina colada and strawberry daiquiri pina colada is a very good s tier I'd say like middle of the pack S tier. It tastes like pina colada. It's smooth. It's delicious. It's really good with rum, by the way. You ever have it with rum? Really good with rum. Um, that's a bad decision, by the way. That's a bad decision. Uh, don't do that because that's a stimulant and, and having it with rum, oof, that's A tier. Strawberry daiquiri though, S tier. Strawberry daiquiri is similar to emotional damage and acai blueberry where it's light, it's smooth. The aftertaste is great. That thing is just excellent. Strawberry daiquiri is top level delicious. Delicious. Absolutely adore strawberry daiquiri. When they both came out, I was surprised it was as good as it was. All right. This one, I believe, is... What is that one? Pineapple cocktail? I believe it's pineapple cocktail. Yeah, it's pineapple cocktail. Uh, pineapple cocktail is B. I'd say B. Actually, I probably put it at the top of B. It's at the top of B, getting close to A. Um, I like pineapple cocktail. It tastes like a nice citrusy pineapple. It is very good. Um, nothing outstanding about it, but pretty up there in terms of flavors. All right. Here we go. Let's talk about Jay Schlatt's titty milk, shall we? Let's have a good discussion about Jay Schlatt's titty milk. Just a long one, you know? I can't believe I'm about to say this. I cannot believe I'm about to say this. Jay Schlatt's titty milk is the best flavor in the store. It is number one. It is the best flavor in the store. 
And in my opinion, it doesn't come close. Jay Schlatt's titty milk is the number one best thing I want to put in my mouth. <laughs> S tier, top level. Amazing. It also comes with the caffeine free version, which is amazing, but it is a light, creamy blue raspberry. It's blue raspberry paired with a natural milk flavor, which is not really how I would describe it, maybe. I would go with like a blue raspberry ice cream-ish. A little hard to describe, but it's basically, instead of the regular blue raspberry being sharp and strong, this has a better flavor profile and it's smoother. It, it is also a pure white colored, um, pure white colored powder, which is, yeah. Um, but it, it's the best flavor in the store. It's the best flavor in the store. I'm angry about it. Um, God damn it. I, I don't know how he did it, but he pulled it off. It's number one. It is so good. It doesn't taste like a milk soda thing at all. It just, it tastes great. If you were surprised that Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000 is as good as it was, despite the name, this one is like equally good. I think it's better, but I'm also subjective. But in order to have good, we need to have some bad. Next up is Waifu Candy. Waifu candy is the, my, my least favorite flavor in the entire store. I hate it. I hate it. And I, and Gamer Subs is the greatest company ever because they let me say that. I'm sponsored by them. Let me say that. I hate this flavor. This tastes like, like you know, when you were a kid and you would eat all of the graham crackers out of the Lucky Charm cereal and you'd leave the spoonfuls of marshmallows for the end and you were like, wow, spoonfuls of marshmallows. This tastes like spoonfuls of Lucky Charms marshmallows. It is, it is so sweet. It is so, it is pure sugar. It is the nothing but pure sugar. Okay, it, it's too much. Okay, chat, maybe some of you like that. You know, you, you, um, you American problematic people, but don't forget who I am. I drink pure black cold brew coffee. All right, I go, I go to, to my shop, shop and I say, I want black cold brew. This is pure sugar. I do not like this flavor. It's my least favorite flavor by far. All right. If you want, if you want to eat just pounds of Lucky Charms, fine. But when you get older, chap, when you get into your late twenties, like me, you're just going to start to be like, I could you'll you'll have cinnamon toast crunch and, and say wow that's a lot i'm not gonna lie i have no idea whose flavor this one is i do not see it on on the um it's like a running person i do not see it on the on the list it's not here. I um I don't think I've had this flavor. Yeah, I have not had this flavor before. Um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep it down here because I've not had that flavor. It's Meta Zoo. Oh, I haven't had that one. I have not had that one. So I have to I have to play the fifth on this one. Black Cherry S with a caveat. Black Cherry, regular, low A. Black Cherry in sparkling water, S rank. Sparkling, it tastes like Black Cherry Soda, which is my favorite soda of all time. I don't drink soda anymore, but if I am going to drink a soda, I am going to drink Black Cherry Soda. Black Cherry Soda is fucking amazing. Without the carbonation, it's fine. Bottom of A. With the, the carbonation, bottom of S. It jumps a whole tier. This is one of my favorite late night dessert things. I'll throw a scoop of this in a glass of uh, Pellegrino or Saratoga and just, mm, mm, mm. No calories. They, they have a, uh, they should have a caffeine free version, I think. Aha, there it is. They have a caffeine free version, so I don't stay up. It's amazing. 
Is this Cherry Limeade? Please tell me it is. Cherry Limesicle by Sweatsicle. Shout out to my Destiny boys out there, all right? Shout out to my Destiny boys. Um, Cherry Lime Limeade is, or Limesicle is also S tier. I put it above Daiquiri, below emotional damage. I love Cherry Limesicle. I love it. It's so good. It was unironically one of my pre-workout go-tos, uh, which isn't the best option for pre-workout. This is mainly just good tasting and, and caffeine and stuff, so don't use this for a pre-workout as your main source. I mean, you could, it's caffeine, but like it doesn't have all the other things for it. Love this one. It is so good. If S tier looks a little bit bloated, don't worry. I think the most of these are A or B, but Lime, lime made Limesicle, it's so good. You know when you go to the fair and you get those big like snow cone things where the, when then you pour like the syrup into them and you get like the cherry, like the, the, the cherry one? It's like that. It tastes like that. It's so good. Um, Grenadier Grape. This is also... Um, or is that watermelon ice? No, it's Grenadier Grape. I think this is also a Destiny player. I don't see it. Oh, it must no longer be around. I still have it. Um, I think Grenadier Grape is decent. I put this one in B. Um, it may not be sold anymore. Uh, I think it's all right. I think it's okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of Grape. Uh, a lot of I'm not just huge on grapes, so it being in B tier is actually kind of nice over C, um, because it, it's a proving to how decent the flavor is. But I I don't like grape soda that much unless I'm making like lean, um, but like um, you know, yeah, I'm not I'm not huge on, on grape soda personally. It's not quite my uh my my thing, um, but <laughs> I don't actually make lean, so it's so we're all aware of that. <laughs> Um, it's okay. I, I don't love grape, but as far as grape goes, it's pretty good, despite it all. Um, but, uh, it's, it's all right. What is this one? I think this is the lime one. We passed Misfits Melon. Lemon Limeade. Lemon Limeade is fine. It is one of the very old school flavors. It's nothing incredible. It's nothing terrible. It is fine. It is an old school flavor. And if you like, you like lemon lime, then you'll like that flavor. It is lemon lime. You will like it. If you don't like lemon lime, you won't like it. This one is interesting. Lychee GG. This one is actually A. That might surprise you because it's very fucking sweet. It's very sweet. And for me, you know, I'm not huge on sweet stuff, uh, but it's pretty darn good. Um, I love these kinds of drinks. Whenever I go, like often when I go to like a sushi restaurant, they'll have some kind of, of lychee or lychee, I don't know how it's pronounced, um, cocktail. Uh, so some kind of cocktail mixed with like either like some kind of like uh, lychee or, or lychee uh, sake or maybe some kind of um, uh, like vodka mixed cocktail. And they normally have it like on a, if you're in a fancy restaurant, they have like a little piece of it on a stick. It's really good. I like it as um, it's a lychee. Right, I'm going to call it lychee now because Smexy tells me to call it lychee and she knows way better than I do when it comes to that stuff. Lychee it is. Um, lychee GG is a very good flavor. Uh, I like it a lot, and I'm surprised it's as high as it is because I normally don't like super sweet things. All right, peach tea. Peach tea is another one of those. It was S tier, but it has been brought down to A tier just due to competition. The competition is very strong when it comes to to the re uh, recent flavors. I would put it at like top of A. Kind of tie with Blue Raz in my opinion, but peach tea is really darn good. 
and you can honestly go between S and A. I think I'm 50-50 between S and A. I think I'm gonna put it in A because S is already a little bit large right now. Uh, I'm throwing it in A. I, It's close, dude. It's close. Very close. This one, I believe, is Sour Apple. Um, I think Sour Apple is not great. Um, I probably put it top of C. The problem with Sour Apple is that it's it's just, it's Sour Apple. And I do like Sour Apple with a lot of flavors, um, such as, well, like Jolly Ranchers and stuff. Um, but I, if, if you have a soft spot for Sour Apple, like you like Sour Apple tasting things, then you're gonna like it because you like the kind of flavor. I'm not big on it. I'm not huge on it. No, not myself. Um, it's in that early days of gamer subs where their flavors, while still good, just got outclassed by all their new releases. But unless it's like some kind of fair sour apple, like, like a green sour like candy apple or something, not quite my favorite. Candy apple, I think, would have been really tasty, but I don't know if I would put it in drink form, you know? Strawberry lemonade. That goes in A. Probably, probably a little higher above lychee. Lychee, fuck. Uh, stra it's stra dude, strawberry lemonade. Come on. How like it's strawberry lemonade? It's delicious. It's so it's so tasty. It's strawberry lemonade. Like, mm, 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 mm. these are my tits, not my stomach. Mm, love it. Strawberry lemonade. Like, I have nothing else to say about that one. Strawberry lemonade. This one is strawberry. I think just strawberry. Yeah, strawberry GG. Eh, like B. Middle of B. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's strawberry. Yeah, I mean like strawberry lemonade is better than strawberry. It's strawberry, it's good. Hey, what's up? What's your favorite fruit? Strawberry. Oh, okay, you'll like it. Cause you like strawberries. But, you know, it's okay. Watermelon ice. I would probably put this one in B too. Probably like bottomish should be as well. I like watermelon a lot. In fact, it's arguably my favorite fruit. I'm a little bit upset that, that I'm not huge on watermelon ice. Maybe that's a good idea for my flavor. I'll think about this. But, um, but regardless, it's okay. It's fine. Here is my overall list. I get I haven't tried this one on the bottom. Oh, you can't see it. It's fine. Here is my overall list in terms of the gamer sups flavors. Uh, once again, I am sponsored. Uh, you can use Brick Code Bricky for 10% off. If you'd like, there is a link in the video description when this becomes a video, even though I'm streaming it right now. Um, or I guess exclamation point sups in the chat. If I am truly to say like, hey, Bricky, I'm going to get gamer sups. I want five flavors. I would give them these top five. 100% these top five. Strawberry daiquiri is amazing. Uh, black cherry is the iffy because of the sparkling water question, but strawberry daiquiri is incredible. It's nice and smooth. Cherry limesicle has an amazing sharpness to it. Emotional damage is also nice and smooth, but strawberry and peach. And then guacamole, gamer far, and titty milk are the best flavors in the entire store. And um, it's actually a testament to how good gamer fart is. Because, yeah, the top three are all shit posts, who would have guessed? Um, because it has been out for months and months and months, and it's still number two. And it's only been beaten out by fucking schlatt titty milk, which is fitting. Fitting. I like like I I would I would rip a line of these farts, and I, and I would suckle upon thine teat. They are very good. Which one stings the most after snorting? I cannot answer that in this video. However, I am now going to end the video, and answer you on stream. 